Hello friends, welcome to KB Tutorials. In this video, we are gonna see few XML passing techniques like how to get attribute name and value, how to get attribute value, first node, last node, first attribute, last attribute, all those things which I have listed here, we are gonna discuss. Okay. So before getting into the implementation, I want to show you this part, which is the one I am taking as an example here. You can see attribute name uh, as name and values and multiple attributes are there and yeah so uh, I'm going to take this as an example uh, so before implementing before going to implement let me introduce myself I am Karthik usually upload a video three times a week that is on Monday Wednesday and Friday if you are new here consider subscribing to my channel and also please do explore my playlist guys I have created uh, close to 70 scenarios till now so please explore all the videos in this playlist you can learn a lot okay so if it is not there this xml type is not there in your uh, activities panel then you need to go to package manage and manager and you need to install that okay so since i have it i am reading this one uh, from a file right so i am i am reading an xml from a file so what i am doing is i am using this activity called read text file and I'm saving this entire content as in as a string format. Okay. So once you have that in a string format, then you just type um, XML in your uh, activities panel. Now you can see you can you can see below activities in XML. You try to use this deserialized XML. Okay. And XML string which I'm saved in X data here. I am using that and yeah so here you can see xml data I have okay so if you go to the variables and you see x data is of x document type and data is of string type which is an output of a read text file okay so now what I'll do is I'll try to print this one so here what I use is x data Cool. that to string okay then I'm gonna see all this data here now you can see we can get the data now let's try to focus on each and every part here okay so if you see here this one uh, param of name is equal to name and the corresponding value is beti is under this tag that is this element called para that param is under the tag called name that is node I, I should say under the node called name and that is under the parent node called details right so we need that data here so what I'll do is x data dot use element element of details dot again element of name okay that means i'm starting from this details i went to this name now i need to go to this param right so param uh, sorry dot element of called param isn't it cool so i'll try to zoom this part then uh, I want to check the attributes right so attribute called uh, name dot as not as is as to string okay here what I am doing is I am going here and I am checking the attribute of name okay so I should be getting attribute name and corresponding value here. Now you can see we got the value as name is equal to Betty. Yes, this one. Okay. Now that is a that is what we need here. Attribute name and the value pair that we got. Okay. Now how to get only value? Here we got attribute name and value, right? So instead of this two string, what I'll do is after this dot you just type this value okay and execute this part now what you'll 
can get is only the value for the corresponding attribute called name here okay now you can see we got the value let's try to do it for other attribute that is there for the given tag called name one so i'm using that one now i should get the value for the corresponding uh, attribute in a given tag isn't it let's see now you can see we got the data properly now we implemented this part called value attribute value using value method okay this one is done get first attribute in that uh, tag if you see we have two attributes name and name one so what i'll try to do here is instead of giving the attribute here i'll use this one called first attribute dot value i am getting the value of the first attribute that should be bethy here as you can see yeah now i'll try to get the value of the last attribute here instead of first attribute what i need to do here is i need to get the value of the last attribute isn't it so last attribute dot value if you use a string you can get key value pair as simple as that now you can see we got the value properly that is how you will get uh, last attribute value now here okay we have a name now what i'll do is i'll try to get the first node dot let me try to use two string here so let me try to get the first node that means let me try to print the first node here first node means this part kartik now you can see we got entire tag uh, here first node in a similar way we can get the last node as well here uh, instead of first node what i'll do is i'll apply this call uh, attribute called last node and i'll try to convert that to the two string here okay now you can see we got the last node as well properly so uh, let me show you first node done last node done get last attribute first attribute done if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment section so that i can help you out and as attributes this is very very important guys let's see this part first okay so we are at this node called name okay for this do you see any attributes i don't see any attributes so let's try to use this uh, method called has attributes and see what we are going to get here okay so i'll going to use as attributes here and that is a boolean type so i need to convert that to the two strings here and execute that one and my charging is very low in the laptop you can see there is no attributes if i do the same thing for the uh, another tag let me try to use something called element element of here param for this part i have the attributes right so for that means i should be getting true as has attributes now you can see we got that properly and there is sometimes you might be asking me sir what is the type of that so for that you need to use get type dot to string you should be getting x document here x element sorry so that we got it properly then what we have document dot to string let's see this document what does it does is it will print entire data again now you can see it is printing entire data 
so that is a use case of that and this is very interesting guys i don't know why it's coming like that maybe you need to tell me why it's coming in a comment section so that i also come to know but i found it very strange trust me i found it very strange if i apply this payment now you can see we got all the values corresponding to that okay so what i'm gonna do another one is let me add few details here something called um, name one name one closing base here uh, let me try to add something called param as uh, either about cool isn't it just for the testing purpose i added another other uh, called uh, the node called name one okay that is inside the details now if we see here uh, yes this part let me try to remove this one okay and execute this one and see how the data will be coming now you can see we are getting entire data here that is okay it is okay now what i'll do is i'll add that particular node as well that is param dot event yeah cool so uh let me execute this one now you can see we got only the corresponding data previously we got entire data isn't it why that happening is uh, now i am pointing this part okay and that entire data we are getting this if you point this part you will get entire data of the one okay so that is how it is coming and please do explore other fields and let me know in a comment section and please do subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so much